in the past I've been busy uh, with uh, small scale solar energy systems and this is for instance a regulator, a voltage regulator made to charge a 12, uh, 24 volt battery. I've built uh, three of them and they all work properly. Um, but when you want to do something with solar energy uh, you will always find the problem from the cable loss. And that's also a problem that I encountered in all my experiments. So this video is a little bit about cable loss. And I made a small demonstration circuit here. This is 100 meter uh, massive copper wire in this box. The diameter is approximately 2 millimeters. And it's connected to uh, a 12 volt halogen lamp here in the middle of the video. And now we're going to see what the effect is from the cable. So when you have that lamp uh, 50 meters away from the battery, the 12 volt battery, and the other 50 meters back uh, from this cable to the battery, uh, you get a quite substantial loss of voltage and energy. And it's all dissipated in the cable. Though the cable is quite thick, there is a substantial loss and this whole box full of 100 meter uh, wire reads on the ampere, uh, sorry, on the ohm meter 1.3 ohms. So that's the resistor effect that precedes uh, the 12 volt 50 watt lamp. Switch on the power supply now. This is the voltage to the lamp, 10 volt. This is the current, 3.2 or so. And um, now you see how uh, bright the lamp lights up. And now I'm gonna take the cable out. And you can see that the lamp, the lamp lights up more fiercely. And this is all loss. This energy is dissipated in the cable. So the, the effect from this is that when you want to make a circuits that have to handle a high current on 24 volts or 12 volts, you need thick copper cables. That's of course clear, I think. And a much better way to do it all is to use an inverter and use a battery, 12 or 24 volts, here an inverter. Here the output from the inverter gives AC, can be 230 volts or 110 volts, 60 hertz, 50 hertz, doesn't matter much. And here, this part of the circuit, there's a short and thick cable. And with my 1500 watt inverter that I bought, this cable was very, very thick. Approximately, uh, now let's say, 8 millimeters or so. Always use a fuse here. And this is another inverter that I've bought 24 for my 24 volt uh, solar system. This is such an inverter. This is the output, 230 volts, 50 hertz. And this is the input, 24 volts. And it's cooled by a small fan. So uh, when you want to make a solar system with low loss, this is the best way to do it. Use an inverter and uh, short thick cables here. The length may not be too long um, because otherwise the inverter doesn't work properly. It switches off too quickly due to the voltage drop in the cable. Um, the problems, uh, however, from such an inverter circuit that I found, there's a high inrush current. It will burn your contacts from relays or so. The inverter beeps when the low voltage uh, warning gets active, approximately 21 volts. So it's an annoying beep. And when it has switched off, it takes current. And um, that's quite high, I found. It's approximately 500 milliampere for this uh, inverter. 
So um, that makes that uh, you have to find some circuit by which the inverter is switched completely off uh, when the low voltage uh, is reached. And um, I solved that problem in a low tech manner. So after all my experiments I found that this way is the best way to uh, get a solar system um, working in a house or so.